Hello, dear friends. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well this evening. Morning, afternoon, you know, whenever you happen to catch this, you know, time and energy are all fluid, you know. We're throwing down cards for somebody tonight, trying to get these July readings out since it's like already halfway through July. Oy. It's just been a rough couple of weeks for Big Mama here, and you know, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. I'm not going to force the reads, though. I'm not going to force the energies. I'm not going to try to bend the universe to my whim. It's not how it works. And I found that out the hard way way too many times. Virgo, you're up. All right. Earth sign. Okay. Here we go. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay, too. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid all things can and maybe vice versa and may even play out from the perspective of our friends the cross watchers and y'all are always welcome here come on in i love having you guys it's always interesting seeing things from the other person's perspective you know okay Here, Virgo. Princess of Swords reversed. There may have been a little bit of dishonest energy going on. Uh, lack of communication. Possibly totally cut off. Possibly. Or third-party information. That's always fun, too. Hmm. I call it filtered information. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The hermit. Hmm. Maybe you feel like they're taking a little bit of me time. Doing some self-reflection and introspection. What do you think of them? Queen of Cups in the reverse. You may feel like they are a little bit emotionally closed off right now. Possibly not talking about it. Hmm. What do you want from them? Two of Pentacles. You want things to balance out. You don't want any balls hitting the ground. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. What do they feel about you? Ten of Wands. Hmm. They may feel like you have a person... If I can make words work. You... They may feel like you have a burden that you need to release. Something you might have to get off your chest. Or the connection is becoming a little bit burdensome for them. What do they think of you? Four of Wands. Wow. That's the Twin Flame card. That's the 1111 celebration dreams come true card they may think you're their dream come true feel a very powerful connection to you 
sometimes powerful connections are the ones that get us. Just keep that in mind. What do they want from you? Three of Wands reversed. They don't want you to wait. If they are indeed going through some stuff right now, I don't think they want you to wait for them. We'll throw some clarity on it here in a second. Nobody panic. Everything's fine, right? Isn't that the Virgo's motto? Everything's fine? I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising. Everything's fine. It's not a big deal. The house isn't burning down. Okay. The obstacle is the moon. I love the moon card. It can mean, you know, smoke and mirrors, lies and deception. The forest within the trees that you can't see. I, I promise it's there. It's a card of perspective. Things don't look the same in the moonlight as they do in the sunshine. Things are skewed. Things are unknown. Depending on who in this situation is exactly doing what, the other person may not know why they're so emotionally closed off or why they're needing to do introspection. You just want to find the trees in the forest. You're standing in it. What can be done? Princess of Wands reversed. I love the Princess of Wands reversed. You know why? Hmm. This is the stop what you're doing card. Just stop. You're standing in the forest. Just stop. Don't do anything. Don't take another step. Bring your clarity now, okay? Breathe. Just take a breath. Do we look at it or don't we? I'm gonna look at it. Queen of Cups popped out. We'll see if she comes back out, okay? Yes, there is an abundance of love here. How do you shuffle three times and cut if you're just gonna let them fly? That's just how I roll, guys. Why is it two of pentacles here? Page of swords reversed, princess of swords reversed. Hmm. Filtered information. want them to stop listening to filtered information and come have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Five of Pentacles popped out.
you may want them to put those people out in the cold who are giving the filtered information. Lover's card. You want them to feel this connection just as deeply as you do. To stop ignoring it. Stop being closed off to it. Let me tell you what, I, I think they... I. They feel it. They feel it. They're going through some stuff right now. And you sense that. And I think you need to be understanding of that. Why is Ten of Wands here? King of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups. They may feel like you're already shopping around. There's options. They feel like better options, more options. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Why this? Thank you. Magician reversed. down heavily by a burden, unable to manifest. This can't get up off the ground. Someone's very burdened. Something needs to be released. A cycle needs to come to a close. I'm sensing paranoia and I don't know why. Why is the four wands here? Six of wands reversed. Six from ten is four. They feel the connection. They want the connection. They know it's there. There's something impeding the victory. Why the six of wands reversed? Why this? Nine of cups reversed. Five of swords reversed. false happiness, unable to pick up pieces. The foundation can't be laid, it can't be stable until the pieces are picked up, until you've found happiness again. I think you're not happy. And there's a burden that you never released. There's something you've been very closed off about in their eyes. That's why it can't manifest. There's too many unknowns. Too many things not talked about.
Why is the three of wands reversed here? Two of cups reversed. Wow. One more. Wow. Your moon reversed and the ace of pentacles in the upright. It's not time yet. They don't want you to wait. They don't want you to question. It's not time yet. And you're not supposed to know why. They don't want you to wait. The seed has been planted with this Ace of Pentacles, but they don't want you to wait. Oh, three of swords. And this is as heartbreaking for them as it is for you. They got crap they got to process. And apparently so do you. It's not time yet. Why is the moon card here? Four of Wands reversed, Seven of Swords. You're not supposed to know why. And you're not supposed to question it. It is not time yet. It will forever be... Okay, really? Really? One more. Temperance. The card of patience. The card of positive energy flow and how you relate to each other. This is one cup dumping into the other. Flow. Flow. You're always going to be all up in each other's energy. This connection's always going to be there. It's just not time yet. And you are not supposed to know why. Why the Seven of Swords? The Ten of Wands. That tells me someone is harboring a secret. And it's very burdensome. And until that secret is let go, until it is released, until that thing y'all ain't talking about is either resolved or talked about, this is what it is. This is what it is. I got sevens all over the place. Seven of cups, seven of swords. Wow, guys. Wow, Virgo. Why is the Princess of Wands reversed here? What needs to be done? Why is the Princess of Wands reversed here? Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords reversed. Stop. Take a breath. Cut communication off. Find yourself worth work on you. Know that you're the catch. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Find your independence. King of Wands reversed. Don't fight about it. Don't fight it. Don't fight the universe. It will not end well. Oh, 
One more on that cluster. One more. Okay, I'll take two. Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Don't. Y'all need to flip those around. Don't let it consume you. And try to re regain your balance. It takes time to become a Queen of Pentacles. It's, you know, Pentacles are very slow moving energy. And things like that take time. Your advice. The Six of Swords reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You need to release this and let it go. Except that if it does not return, it's going to be okay. But if you do not accept this, you don't get to the Queen of Pentacles level. You don't get to that point of acceptance and self-assured. You gotta release this and let it go. Whether it's this connection or that secret you gotta release, you have to release it and let it go. It's progress. It's progress. The Six of Cups and the Hermit. Yes. Take those beautiful and wonderful memories with you on your journey. Because you never know when you crawl its paths again. Okay, Virgo. Not quite sure who this is going to resonate with. But I'm sure somebody needs the message. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been so delayed. Okay. I'm going to check out. Thanks for coming by. I'll be back in a couple of weeks for your August reading. Hopefully, it doesn't take two whole weeks. But once Mercury retrograde's over with and I'm back in alignment and things are moving the way they're supposed to be moving, we'll see what happens, okay? I love you guys to bits. Thanks for popping over. Catch you later.